First of all, heartiest congratulations guys. You have cracked one of the most difficult exams, the NEET UG and have earned yourself a seat in a medical college. You have made your parents proud. You have made your family proud. You have made yourself proud. But what now? I am sure you must be very confused as to which books do we buy and where exactly do we begin. Two years only in physics, chemistry, biology. Mein hi nikal gaye. So now what to do? So don't worry guys, in this video, I am going to give you a complete plan for your first year MBBS. Hi guys, it's Dr. Parth Palan here and I had done my graduation from St. G.S. Medical College and K.E.M. Hospital, Mumbai. So let's begin the video. So there are three subjects in first year MBBS, Anatomy, Physiology and Biochemistry. So let's start with Anatomy. This is one of the subjects to say anatomy, hai, but then there are many many sections in it. So we'll be studying, we'll be talking about each and every section one by one. Starting with Gross Anatomy. Now Gross, an gross Anatomy forms 70% of anatomy. It forms a major chunk. So do we read Grey's Anatomy for Gross Anatomy? No, we only watch Grey's Anatomy series. We don't read Grey's Anatomy. So what you are going to read is B.D. Chaurasia, what we call as B.D.C. So it comes in four volumes right now. So see this, this is the first volume. First volume is for your upper limb and thorax. Then comes your second volume. Second volume will be for lower, lower limb and abdomen and pelvis. And then the third volume will be for head, neck and face, H and F. And uh, right now they have come up with the fourth volume where they will be covering Neuroanat separately. But Neuroanat ke baare mein I'll be talking in the next section. So basically, these are the three volumes you are going to read from B.D. Chaurasia. So on your first day of college in anatomy, they will be starting with gross anatomy. And in gross anatomy, they will be starting with upper limb, upper limb mein brachial plexus. See for first two to three weeks in your dissection or your lectures in anatomy, you'll not understand anything. Literally, everything will be a bouncer, everything will be so new. But do we get scared? No, it's very normal, very, very normal. The solution to this is only to keep reading BDC again and again. Now, coming to neuroanatomy. So, like the name suggests, neuro means brain. So, your brain's anatomy is going to be covered in neuroanatomy. So, there are two books which you can refer. Like I had told you, the volume 4 of BD Chaurasia is for neuroanatomy, and there's another book dedicated only for neuroanatomy, which is Vishram Singh. And this is what I had referred and I personally felt this was very, very easy to understand. And there are many clinical points also given in this. So personally, I would uh, recommend using Vishram Singh for neuroanatomy. Next comes embryology. Embryology is a journey. The journey from zygote to embryo to fetus and how the different organ systems in a fetus develop. It's very interesting. It's beautiful. So the book to be referred is uh, Inder B. Singh or as we like to call it I.B. Singh. So it is a very, very simple to understand book in, in very simple language. So this is what you have to buy for embryology. Next comes histology. Histology deals with the anatomy of an organ at a microscopic level. So the book you need to buy is Inder B. Singh, just like the one which you had got for embryology. So histology can get really boring if you don't study in the right fashion. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to attend your college practicals. There you're supposed to ask your professor to explain exactly how to analyze the microscopic slide. Then you're supposed to uh, refer to IV Singh. The slide picture will be given over here. And with the slide picture, you also have to read the explanation as to how exactly to identify that slide, you know, so that and next and the most important is you need to watch YouTube videos. YouTube makes histology very, very interesting. It's brilliantly explained on YouTube. Next is general anatomy. Now general anatomy, either nobody reads or they read it very late. It's very simple. The concepts are very simple. So the book for this is BDC again, but we PR say call it Choto BDC. Next, next is your favorite part, MCQs. MCQs ke bina tumhara pet bharta hi nahi hai. So uh, for anatomy, Arun Arora is a very good book for all the MCQs. And more than the MCQs, the summary that is before all the MCQs, there's a chapter summary given. So that is also a very uh, beautiful and very uh, concise fashion that is given so that you can read. And in fact, you must read. It's very important for your MCQ exams as well. But there's one catch here. Please don't start reading any MCQ book from the first day of college itself. See, because pehle, do, teen, mahina, to, as it is, you don't understand only what is going on in life. And upar se, if you start reading MCQ books, you will not be able to grasp any major concepts that your professors are teaching. 
so for first 3 to 4 months only read the standard books and once you are confident that okay now my upper limb is done now my thorax is done now my lower limb is also thoda thoda done that is when you can refer your mcq book next is atlas atlas is a must in anatomy see because in anatomy it gets really difficult you know to imagine stuff like after a certain point you just can't imagine what is being taught to you and in bdc and all the other books also the diagrams which are given can only be copied for exams they are not some you know a uh, very great diagrams so an atlas is needed so a netter's atlas is what you have to buy see just see how beautiful just see how beautiful each and every structure is given so and this will also help you a lot in your dissection so atlas is a must next you will need a bone set yes you heard it right you will need a bone set a bone set because in practicals what is going to happen is they will give you any bone to hold and you will have to describe all the muscle attached to the bone that you'll understand in one or two months as you enter medical college but for this you need a bone set and an atlas so bone set you have to buy and if you are in a hostel you can buy one bone set for your room that's enough next is a book called cunningham so cunningham is a book which you all don't need to buy you all need to either ask your seniors to give it to you or if you want to buy then buy second hand see because these books usually nobody reads uh, these uh, this these set of three books just like bdc it has volume 1 2 and 3 these are needed you know for entering the dissection hall because you're not allowed to enter the dissection hall without these three books so that you will need it's it's a compulsion it's not a choice and now talking about the dissection uh, you will also need a dissection kit and a gloves ka box so all of this you will get in any you know uh, any stationery uh, which is near your college and also a special note for dissection uh, whatever you're going to dissect like for example tomorrow you're going to dissect the hand the upper limb so uh, one day prior itself you make it a point to read that topic in bdc see because there's no point of going to the dissection hall and then realizing that pata hi nahi kya dhoondna hai that's absolutely of no use it will waste your time and you don't understand only what structures you are seeing uh, and in dissection i somehow remember that our sir had challenged us to find or dissect ear ossicles you know right what ear ossicles are the three bones in our ear three three each the malleus incus and stapes so we had been challenged and our group made it a point to find and find and dissect those ear ossicles so that's a kind of a memory which will always cherish for a life wait i'll just show you the ear ossicle uh, the stapes which i had kept and malleus incus my friends had kept i'll just show it to you so this this i had kept it in my showcase uh, here can can you see that bone can you can you see that bone yeah this is stapes guys this is what we had dissected this is our memory and since our sir had challenged us to dissect the ear ossicles this time i am challenging you that whenever you have your head and neck dissection try it's it's a challenge try to dissect the ear ossicles and if at all you succeed leave it in the comment section below so that i also get to know that you also were able to dissect the ear ossicles all the best now finally coming to the next subject that is physiology i think with anatomy i have scared you enough already but don't worry in physiology and biochemistry there are no different sections like anatomy so let's begin physiology the one and the only book which you will be reading is guyton it is and it will always be the bible of physiology it is such an easy book to read it is so beautiful the language is so easy that all the concepts you get to know in one shot itself so you have to read guyton and only guyton this another book which also people say that it's also the bible of physiology which is genome but my personal recommendation don't go for genome because the language is very technical see i am not saying it's a bad book it's a very good book but it will you know quite possibly make you hate physiology because the concepts are way too high the language is not at all meant for someone who's entering this field okay so stick to guyton it's a very beautiful book guys now people will say that there are other books like there is ak jain and there is sembuling i don't know the pronunciation but it's sembulingam or something so people will say that you can't write answers from guyton so you should not read guyton but that's absolutely wrong and don't worry we have a solution for that as well we have this one book that is vd joshi so what vd joshi it is pehle to it is only supposed to be referred during exams but what is the most important advantage of vd joshi is that it has given all the concepts and in fact line to line it has copied from guyton so you know during exams when if if you have read guyton so you will find it very easy to read vd joshi and you will easily be able to put your answers in the paper from vd joshi so exam is sorted 
don't worry don't read some other book from the very start because gaitan is gaitan now people will also say that only a few systems are given beautifully in uh, gaitan and the other systems you'll have to refer other books so for that also we have a solution don't worry which brings me to the next point which is mcqs your favorite point so for mcqs you can either read arun arora's mcq book like uh, like the one which you had read for anatomy or or there is this one very very nice book which is called crisp physiology uh, this basically has all the systems they are given very nicely in a very tabulated form and more than that there are clinical points also given so you know when you have to correlate physiology to pathology so it is a very nicely given in this book and with the extra thing that also comes are the mcqs and in fact this book only people read for the neat pg so this you can also read for the next pg's preparation as well now coming to the third and the final subject biochemistry okay disclaimer you might actually end up hating this subject so for avoiding to avoid hating the subject what you will have to do is from the very start you will have to try relating whatever you read in biochemistry you have to relate it clinically and once you make a habit to do that you will find it so very nice that almost all the diseases can be explained with the help of biochemistry and it will help you in a lot of other subjects in your future years so please do that from the very beginning and coming to the books so there's one and only one book which you are supposed to read for biochemistry which is satyanarayan okay this book uh, is first of all an indian author book so all the concepts are given in a very very simplified form and it covers almost all the topics very nicely and uh, don't fall in this harper trap okay you know because people around you toppers around you will say that oh harper it's a beautiful book because i had fallen in this trap and i ended up buying this book that harper is a very see i'm not saying it's a bad book it's obviously the best book one can have for biochemistry but the question is do we need this book the answer is no as far as first year mbbs is concerned and next pg also we don't need harper we only need satyanarayan because its concepts are very nicely given okay so don't fall in this harper trap and next important book are your class 11 and class 12 books yes you heard me right i'm not joking because majority of genetics which is given in bi- biochemistry is actually from 11th and 12th itself and we have studied so much for our neat ug that almost all concepts of 11th and 12th genetics are the same as in biochemistry so don't throw your books away and now coming to your mcq books so there are two books uh, one is the arvind arora itself and this book consists of uh, physiology and biochemistry both and another book is rebecca james that is also a very nice book for mcqs in biochemistry so what you are going to do is like i told you in the beginning that biochemistry can be only be made <clears throat> interesting by uh, relating it to clinical points so whenever you read any topic in biochemistry from satyanarayan make it a point to read that topic also from your mcq books so once you read that you will exactly know where it uh, the clinic uh, the clinical correlation is there and which mcqs you are supposed to remember and now coming to the last book which is the flow chart or the tables book it is undoubtedly the most important book in biochemistry guys mark my words the most important and this book you cannot buy you have to make one so this is my flow charts book so you see what uh, all the metabolism chapters any flow chart any ch- any cycle you get you are going to put it in this notebook itself see for example i'll give you an example for hemoglobin so for hemoglobin uh, the acute intermittent porphyria the hemoglobin uh, flow chart the degradation of hemoglobin so see how i have made the whole flow chart i have made and then uske side mein the enzymes i have written and then uske side mein you also have to include the diseases that when this enzyme is missing so this disease is caused so what happens like that there is a clinical correlation being built right from the very beginning so when you read the cycle you exactly know that this is your flow chart these are the enzymes and this when this enzyme is deficient this disease is caused so everything has to be in one book and this book is not only going to be useful for a university exams but also for your next pg because in next pg almost all questions from biochemistry are only going to be clinical ones nobody is going to ask you any theoretical questions from biochemistry all the questions are going to be related to one or the other disease so once you have this book ready you can always refer it five years down the line for your next pg and now the important question where to begin so right now if you are really feeling bored at home and if you really want to start studying which i personally don't recommend because now is the time you actually have to you get to spend with your families with the friends so enjoy this time but you know in case just in case you want to start studying 
प्लीज डोंट स्टार्ट विथ डी डी सी और एनाटमी ओके नो द ओनली बुक विच आई रिकमेंड विच यू कैन स्टार्ट रीडिंग इज गाइटन सो यू कैन बाई गाइटन एंड स्टार्ट रीडिंग द नर्व एंड मसल फिजियोलॉजी दैट इज द फर्स्ट यूनिट ऑफ गाइटन दैट यू कैन स्टार्ट रीडिंग बिकॉज इट्स वेरी इजिली एक्सप्लेन एंड द कंसेप्ट विल बी एबल टू इजिली बी एबल टू ग्रास्प इट ओके एंड जिनको एनाटमी पढ़ना ही है डोंट गो फॉर योर ग्रॉस एनाटमी वाला बी डी सी वॉट यू कैन डू इज रीड दैट छोटो बी डी सी and youtube videos are very very helpful okay so whenever you have any doubt go to your professor and get it solved then and there itself and then you can also refer to all the youtube videos related to that topic so that your doubts you know get solved then and there itself and plus you get some other you know clinical point to learn as well so this is it i have covered almost everything about first year mbbs and i hope that i was successful in giving you a proper plan as to which books are supposed to be bought and read in first year because there's always so much confusion and debate regarding that please don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys and please share this video with as many batchmates as possible and next year also share this with your juniors ha huh? all the very best guys and welcome to mbbs